Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a spring try-on haul for you guys. So this is my first time doing a try-on haul. I asked on my Instagram if you guys would prefer to see a try-on haul or just a regular haul and then a lookbook. I think I still might do a lookbook, but since most of you guys wanted a try-on haul to see the pieces right away and how they look on me, I decided to do that first. And then later on when I have time, throughout the spring and when it's warmer out, I'll probably film a lookbook for you guys. But I do have quite a lot of stuff. This is kind of like a collective spring haul. And this is stuff that I've collected from the beginning of like January that I just bought from, that I just bought for the springtime. So it's gonna be very, very random, but I will have the links to everything down below. Some of them I am gonna warn you guys are thrifted items, so they're not available anywhere. I mean, they might be somewhere else in the world, but they were just like a one-time purchase thing and the only item, so I'm sorry about that. But majority of the other stuff might still be in stock or you probably still find it. It's just that these are items that I collected over the past couple months, so I don't know if they're still going to be in stock or if they were stuff that were on sale. So I'm very sorry about that and I apologize, but hopefully some of these pieces give you guys some little inspiration for this upcoming spring and summer possibly but if you guys want to see what i purchase just keep on watching so this first item is a pair of pants and i got these from forever 21 which i haven't been to in so long and that was my first time going in there in a while and these are just some pinstripe mine are a little bit dirty don't mind because i have worn them already but i have to wash them but these are some pinstripe sort of like work pants looking pants but they're very very wide leg at the bottom um as you can see it's frayed at the end because i did cut them shorter because they were way too long on me but i think i may have cut them a little bit too short but they do fit really nice it's just the waist i wish it fit a little bit better you guys will see in the try on portion um i just wish the waist was a little bit tighter but if anything i usually just like right here i actually made a cut and I put the button um, in that section just to like tighten it a bit and that kind of worked. So I will be rocking these, maybe even at work I'll be able to wear them, but I really do like them. I just wish I didn't cut them too short. This next item is a top that I got off of Depop. I will link the seller's page down below or her shop down below. But this is just a nice like see-through Kind of like work shirt i actually think it's like long sleeve or like three quarter lens but i decided to roll mine up to here so i can kind of wear like a short sleeve sort of thing and i had this style if you guys want to follow my pincers i'll leave that down below but i've been pinning a lot of styles like this where someone will wear this with like a um, tube top underneath and then like some nice linen pants i don't know it just looks very beachy inspired and i just really love the print of this i don't remember how much i paid i think it was probably like about 15 bucks not too expensive but i just really like it. it's really really pretty and breathable and i can't wait to rock this in the spring and summer this next item i don't have on a hanger so don't mind if you can't really get the little vibe of it but this item i also got from depop which was thrifted and this is just like a chinese or asian inspired top i don't know exactly what they're called i might have to like google it or just put the name on the screen but mine is in this like silver color basically with like these blue and pink and green flower or floral print and i don't know how i'm gonna wear this but i feel like i could wear it, like on a night out like tucked in a pair of pants i don't know is that weird i mean i just really liked it it looks very springy maybe i'll wear it on my birthday who knows but i don't know i just really like it um i don't remember how much it was probably about 20 bucks for like 15 or even 10 bucks really cheap but i'll link the seller down below but i just really liked it that it was a really nice color combo so that's why i picked it up this next item i actually got on clearance at american eagle which i also haven't been to in a while and this is just a blue tube top i haven't worn a tube top in so long but if you guys seen my favorites video for the month of march which i'll link up here you guys saw that i got the adidas um campus in like a baby blue and i thought this looked nice underneath like another shirt like that gold one that i just showed you 
with those sneakers and it does have this little like ruffle like flare at the bottom but this fits really nice of course it looks small but i prefer my tube tops in a smaller size so it stretches and fits perfectly and i believe this was only like 12 bucks for american eagle because they had a bunch of these in the clearance section um i also have another top that i'll show you later on but yeah just this really nice piece to add and i can also wear with many other things the next item are pants that i also got from depop and these are just some linen like I don't know peg leg trouser pants that i was planning on wearing with that gold shirt that i show you guys and they just go down kind of like a straight leg i think yeah like a straight leg and i just pictured i would wear this with that same shirt and a tube top underneath um it just really feels breathable and nice and they fit great and i don't know they're just very cuban inspired for me i don't know it's kind of weird but i like them also, before I move on, I did purchase some items from prettylittlething.com and I wanted to include it in here so badly, but it takes a while to ship and I just wanted to show you guys all the stuff I got before the video would be too long. So when those items do come, I'll kind of do like a review on Pretty Little Thing sort of video and the stuff that I got. It wasn't too many items, but I still want to share them with you guys, so that's what I'm thinking about doing, just so you guys don't end up questioning why I'm doing a whole other haul like probably like a week from now but yeah so those items will be coming soon the next item is a pair of pants that I got from H&M like two days ago and these are just some jeans that actually have this really nice print on the side of the leg now this reminds me of like elementary school when I wear pants with prints on them but I actually like this and as you can see it's blue like the theme that I was going for it's just this really like classic sort of like I don't know just elegant sort of print and the bottom leg i did not cut this time it actually came like this and it's just a free like raw hem straight leg pant these fit really nice it is a size 28 i'm usually a 27 or 26 so it fits a little bit loose on the top but i can tighten it myself if i wanted to it's not too bad i could still wear it as a relaxed fit but I really, really like these. They're really good quality. And I got them on sale for only 20 bucks. So they did have quite a lot available in the clearance section. So if you guys are going to H&M anytime soon, be sure to check it out if you want to grab these pants. Warning, I did get a bunch of pants. So don't worry if like I'm just showing pants after pants after pants. But I just needed some big pants in my life. These next pair I just got like two days ago as well. And I haven't worn them yet or tried them on. So I'll be trying them on in this video. Um, but these are some yellow ass pants. Yeah, these are like some denim cropped yellow jeans. They're actually super cropped, but I'm kind of afraid. I don't know if they look good in this video. And I think they're a little bit too big, but I just like the color. I just thought it's different. And I think these were about like $17 from the Depop seller. And I don't know what brand this is actually, but oh, it was LL Bean. Uh, I never shopped there before, but yeah, just these are kind of cool and like vintage style. Hopefully they fit in the try-on. I don't know because I haven't tried them on yet, but they feel really good quality. If they don't fit, I'll probably resell them or I'll give them to someone else that can fit it into them. Another pants is from Depop, and these are just some sort of like casual off-white work pants, I guess. Um... I did wear them once already, but they kind of have like a tapered leg with this creasing in the middle. I wore them once to work and they fit really, really nice. This is also from LL Bean. These were about $15 from the seller. And this I got from the same seller as the other like linen pants that I showed you guys. But these fit really nice at the waist, super comfortable, fit me perfectly. And I'm so happy I found them. It's just, it's so nice. I love them so much. Definitely check out Depop if you need some cool different kind of style pants because they have amazing options and I love vintage pants. The next item is from Zoomies and I usually order like a lot of pants from Zoomies or like slogan t-shirts sometimes but I've been looking for a pair of Dickies pants. Not like the regular work pants but like more of the skater style that like Urban Outfitters have, but not Urban Outfitters because they're way overpriced. They were like 60, 50 bucks. And I found 
Dickie's pants on Zoomies for only like 30, 40 bucks, which was amazing because they had the same exact pair of pants that Urban Outfitters did. But the first pair that I got was these pale pink work crop pants, tapered leg, I don't know. They fit a little bit wide at the waist, so I did kind of have to do a little cut and then put the little silver thing into that section. But after that, they fit super nice. Um, they're just like a cropped wide leg work pants. I usually cuff mine. That's how I like the look of it. And I usually wear these like casual, but I got the pink just to like, you know, springtime, I need colored pants. So the pink looks really nice. I'm gonna see if I can wear it with a few items. Um, I still do need to buy a lot more tops because I can't really find anything in my wardrobe that matches this right now, but I want to wear them soon when it gets warm out. So I definitely need to pick up a few t-shirts. I got two more Dickies pants to show you guys. And I've always wanted a pair of Carhartt whip carpenter pants. I think that's what they are, but they're just way too overpriced. And I have yet to find any on Depop, but I found these Dickies ones in white, which I kind of wish they weren't white, but I could still work with it. And they're just these carpenter painter style pants. They are a little bit too big too around the waist, but I did the same thing. They fit fine. They just had the logo in the back pocket. And I just rolled them up because I like my pants rolled up, as I said. But they are good quality. They were also about 40 bucks, which is great. And I really, really like them. They're really nice. And the last pair of Dickies pants that I got from the Zoomies are just black ones. Yes, they're dirty again because I've been wearing them non-stop and I have yet to wash them, but I just wanted to do this video. I actually don't know what that's from. I think it's from Foundation Fingers because, of course, I do my makeup after I put my clothes on. I don't know why, but these are just a black pair and they're also kind of like cropped at the bottom and they have the little logo on the back, but these fit really nice. I love them so much. They bring out my skater style. I wear them with my Converse a lot. And they're just really, really sturdy and good. And I wear them to work. They're great work pants, super great. And the last pair of pants I have to show you guys are ones that I actually wore yesterday for the first time. And I am in love with them. Um, I kind of wish I did get a small, I got a medium because the sizing for the medium on the website, I got them from Urban Outfitters. Um, it sounded more like my size and I don't want to get too small where I didn't want, where I wanted it to fit a certain kind of way, like baggy. But these are just some, I guess you could call them just cargo corduroy salmon color pants. First of all, I love the color of these. They're amazing. And I love the quality. They're from BDG. Really great. Mine is in a size medium. Could have gotten a size small, but I didn't want to risk it. So I just did the cut thing again there and they fit perfectly like that. They just have these nice pockets on the side. They don't have any buttons, which I don't really like, but then it also has easy access that's fine and then the bottom is just like wide leg and I have them cuffed um yeah they're really really cute and awesome I took pictures in them yesterday you guys can check out my Instagram if you want to see those photos but these are so nice for a spring beautiful color matches tons of shirts and sneakers and I'm in love with them the next item is from American Eagle and this is the other top that I got on clearance and this is just sort of like a little tank top it's like this knit material with this i don't know what that's called like this weaving sort of i don't know what they call that again but this i got for like about 12 bucks also i was thinking to wear with those pants that i got like the tan ones or the linen ones or even underneath that gold shirt i showed you guys but but this is just a really nice knit wear tank top for the spring and the summer and it just looks really cute on. Um, of course, I still have to wear a bra with it because my boobs are weird. So, yeah, I like this. The next two items are from ASOS. The first one is this t-shirt. And it's a Converse t-shirt. And I just got it because I wanted a nice basic white t-shirt. Of course, I should have got a blank or a basic white t-shirt. But I did like the logo of the Converse. And I thought to wear them with my Converse. And like the dicky pants and like tuck this into the dicky style pants or even just wear it out because it's a very like boxy boy fit and i don't know i just liked it it looked really edgy and cool and i like the little um converse logo on the sleeve it's just really dope and i got this on sale because they had a bunch of like their streetwear clothing on sale on asos so i got this for like 
$18, which is great. And then the other item I got during their streetwear sale was this Adidas yellow t-shirt dress. Now it's really kind of long. I could have went a size up. This is in a size, I believe it's a medium. No, it's a size eight. I don't know, but I could have got a larger size because it fits, I believe, a little bit too thin. So I might just end up tucking this in some pants if it's not too long, or I could try wearing it as a dress. I don't really care. It is a little bit see-through, so I might have to wear some shorts underneath or something, but I just really like the color, and they match a pair of sneakers that I'm going to show you guys. And I also want the fanny pack that they have on ASOS. Well, I think it sold out on ASOS, but they have it on Urban Outfitters. Not to wear with this because that's too much yellow, but I just, I just been really into yellow lately, and this is so soft and breathable. It's just really, really nice. And the last clothing item that I really can't wait to wear is this shirt from Depop. It is one of the first spring style shirts that I bought. And it's just this like laundromat style, I don't know, like waitress style type of t-shirt. And it just has this beautiful collar with this beautiful detailing on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. This beautiful floral detailing, this, this beautiful baby blue silky satin material so shiny it'll look super pretty with the adidas that i got the blue ones and i don't know it's just so soft and i love this and it's gonna look so great and so edgy and so boy style it's almost like a bowling t-shirt that's what it looks like but i love that shirt so much like that's one of the items that i really can't wait to wear so the last three items i'm going to show you well i have two more after that but these are like fashion items are a pair of sneakers and the first ones are the ones that I've been talking about non-stop and these are Adidas campus sneakers in the yellow color. Now I showed you guys the blue ones and I had to get the yellow. These are just awesome. I also wore them yesterday with those salmon pants. They look really great and these are just cool. Like they're very spring of course. I did want the um, Converse and Flower Boy yellow sneak no they didn't make a yellow one never mind scratch that but if they did make a yellow one i would have definitely got them but i just like these a lot they're really cool really dope match a lot of stuff they could pass as like a tan shoe or even a yellow shoe depending on what you're wearing but i really like them they were only 50 bucks because i got them on sale but they're just great they're so pretty and i love them the next two sneakers are some Air Max, and the first ones are the Air Max 180. I don't know if you guys seen these anywhere yet, but I just really like these with the colors, and I just been in need of a new pair of Air Max, but these remind me of like very old school retro sort of like Nike sneakers, and that's why I picked them up because they kind of like remind me of like Jordans a little bit, like the retro ones, but yeah, I just decided to pick them up really cool colors very spring and matches a bunch of items um so yeah i can't wait to wear these more often i already wore them on air max day probably insert a picture um but they're just really really nice and the last pair i have luckily are the air max i believe these are the 98 i think don't cut me but these i love I just love like the Listerine blue color on them. Um, I wore them also with those salmon pants that I showed you from Urban Outfitters. And these are just really cool and like, I know they look like dad shoes or like grandma shoes, but I don't know, something about them just made me fall in love with them. I just like the blue and the black together. It looks really cool and they're just really awesome. Like I couldn't pass them up. They're just so comfortable, so great. Air bubbles are amazing and I love these bad boys. And the last two items I just wanted to share are two makeup products that I picked up recently. One of them I'm wearing right now, my eyes, but you can't tell because I'm wearing an eyeshadow over it. But I got these Sephora Color Shadow and Liner um, pencils, and they just look like this. And this one is in the color, I believe it's like Lilac. I'm not sure, it doesn't really have the name on it, but yes, yeah, 31 Lilac Shimmer. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand for you guys so you guys can see how that looks. And it's just this super like ultraviolet purple. Matches my sweater that I'm wearing right now. But 
I just thought purple brings out brown eyes and makes them really pop, so I wanted to pick this up. And also Violet FR is her name, underscore FR on here on YouTube. She did this really nice purple look, which I just wanted to follow and I decided to pick that up instead of like the makeup one she suggested. And I think that might work really well. So I can't wait to get like a nice purple shimmery eyeshadow to put on top. And it'll just be amazing for the springtime. Um, the other color I got is in the color taupe. And the great things about these are that they're waterproof. So they'll stay on all day, even if you don't have a primer, they work great. But this one is in taupe. And this one is just like, if it will focus, this one's just like nice taupey bronze color. Well, not really bronze, but like basically taupe. And it like, it looks lighter in some lighting and then depending on like which way you're turning, it looks darker, which I really, really like as well. And those were about 14 bucks each. Might be a little bit pricey just for a crayon, but I'm gonna use the crap out of it. It's about to curse, but I held myself. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with those. I do want to pick up other colors because I have a bunch of other colors. But yeah, I'm going to definitely be wearing those during the spring and summer. They're going to look great. So those are all the items that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links to these items will be down below in the description bar, except for the Depop items, but I will be linking those Depop shops down below. So if you want to check out their other items that they're selling, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you guys can hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video and also hit that big red subscribe button, it would help me out so, so much. Also, all my social media links will be linked down below. And I hope you guys just really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.